Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I have not done an episode of What's on My Crafty Tables in a little while. So I thought I would come in today and just give a little tour of kind of some of the things that I have in the works. Oh, are you ready? I'm a little bit of a mess. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing, but we're going to do it. So as you know, I have this dump bin that has scrap paper on it. And I've actually been digging through it pretty regular lately. And um, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the pile was going down very much. But it is. Trust me. So anyhow, so that is that as usual. Um, here now I have a couple of things going on. I, a while back purchased all kinds of um, greeting cards. You may have heard me tell that story. The man had thousands of them, and I only paid $75, and I've gotten my money back at a dollar a card many times over. But now I'm left with a lot of Mother's Day and Father's Day cards. Some of them, I don't know, they're a little weird. So I brought some over here that either I'm going to cut the words out or I'm going to make tags or just different things. So that's what that little pile is for. The Dr. Seuss books here under these labels. Um, I'm going to make some journal books out of them. So I've been in the process of gutting them. Um, I have a basket here of some scraps that are scraps that I have been making lately. There's been some videos going up, and it's like taking your little scraps and really staining them up. Um, Louise, I, if I'm pronouncing her name right, did a great video, and then Tracy Fox did a great video. So I'm going to try to do that myself with just my scraps, and I'll tell you why I say just my scraps here in a minute. Um, down here... This is some stickers that someone gave me. I'm going to see what I can do. I am a big Wonder Woman junkie. I like to collect things Wonder Woman, even though you don't see it there. Let's see here. Hold on. She's in here. Um, Dollar Tree has... What well, did I pull them out? There she is. Dollar Tree has some Wonder Woman cards. One day I'm going to do a Wonder Woman journal. That's my plan. All right, now with all that mess, I covered this up. I'm in the process of fussy cutting some of Tracy Fox's labels. She recently had a granddaughter and did a big sale. So I went in and got me some. Um, so that's just some stamps that I recently purchased. Um, these are um, like little deli papers. So between using your jelly plate and then coffee staining some up, I thought maybe I could make pockets or envelopes out of them. Um, and then, of course, my creative journal for 2022 is always somewhere to be seen. Um, I've been doing pretty good with taking pictures of things I'm working on. Here is, well, that's some stamps that I got at a stamp show. Oh, uh, that's another one of those cards. Um, but here's the digitals for, um, they, it, she used to be paper, um, antique papery. Now I think she's like French lemon tree or something like that. Um, I have been loving her digital, so that's getting ready to go in a journal. I hope you saw my video with that journal and my little special trinket right there. Now, here comes the big mess. That vinyl tablecloth is what I coffee stain on when I do my lace-covered papers, if you remember seeing that video. All of these papers, and you'll see there's colorful ones in here as well. All of those papers came from a retreat last weekend. Um, there were 40 ladies there, and I had put a holler out asking them for any kind of scraps. So this is what I got. Some of those scraps, of course, are mine from book pages, and there were some other junk journalers there. But most of them were scrapbookers. So I've been spraying it with coffee. That's what the Tylex bottle has in it. It's coffee. Um, so, yeah. I've been spraying it down, and I'm going to be going to a class next week, um, and I hopefully will find me some good papers in here that I want to take and use. Um, probably the cleanest surface in this um, studio is my videoing table. It doesn't have anything on it, thank heavens. 
And then this is where I sit sometimes. I've shown you before. Those cute little bins I got from Ikea. I just love them. Um, so I've got glue and sprays and some stamps. And then one that has washi tape. And then one that kind of has some personal items. I'm probably going to pull that out of here. Um, that's just those magazines and catalogs and stuff are just my little glue things. Um, and there's my needle keep. If you remember my video on my needle keep. Here my needle keep buried up under there. And then this, I'm getting ready to do another journal. I've got my fabric samples and I've got my pieces already cut for the covers. I just have to uh, sit down and do it. And then I've got two suitcases here that I have pulled out that I plan on gutting and redoing. And then the bottom one over there I plan on redoing. So I kind of have things a little piled up on this side, but that's okay. And then that's just a box of scrap paper and stuff um, that I kind of need to go through. It's usually what I make little notepads out of is what's in there. And then that takes us back to the dump bin. Um, and getting ready for the class, I have a little cart ready to go. My seat cushion and some papers and stuff in there. So hopefully I'll have everything that I need. So anyway, one more view. Um, it's a lot cleaner than it was earlier this week. It uh, has been kind of getting on my nerves. Oh, I can't begin to tell you. But I'm getting there. I'm getting it cleaned up. And hopefully when I get all that paper off at the other end, I'll be able to go back and make some more lace paper and maybe just some plain old tea stain or coffee stained paper. Anyhow, that's it. And remember, if you have any questions about anything in my studio here, please ask. Um, you know, I've hopefully, I say I've put a lot of thought into what's in here. And I have rearranged a few times in the, well, I guess now it's been, has it been two years? No, it was one year. It's been, oh yeah, it's going to be two years come, um, May and June. So it, it's it's getting to be two years. Wow, time does fly. But like I said, if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And, uh, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. I think I am pretty organized, even though it may not look like that. Um, things, like I said, are pretty much in their place and like things together. Um, so anyhow... Please give me a shout out, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, and I appreciate your time, and I'll check you out in the next video. Bye!